Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome to ooh, a very strong rocket. Do you see that? I feel like this little guy does. He's floating straight towards it. Anyway, yes, sorry. Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome to Kerbal Space Program 2. We're going to continue our save. This will be fine. Where? Oh, my goodness, that face. <laughs> Where we're continuing our journey as the UK Space Agency trying to make Britain great once again. So we've just loaded into the VAB. Oh yeah, we got this guy. So this was my my boat. I mean, that's definitely a boat, right? Uh, that we built last time. Let's delete that. We, we don't want you. Oh, oh no. So we're starting afresh because we have been commissioned by the UK Space Agency. Everyone's favorite space agency. To put our engineering skills to the test and build the world's widest plane. Uh, now, I haven't actually built a plane in this game yet. Remembering the last video was definitely a boat. So I'm actually going to have a little nose through these load vehicle things. See if there's any... Yes, look, we have a plane. Now, because I haven't had much luck with stuff on the runway, I am just going to launch this. I just want to see, does everything struggle like I... No, it's perfectly fine. Okay, I was sort of blaming the game in terms of it being like really buggy. I think it's just my building. I need to build better. Anyway, we're going to take note of everything to do with this, particularly Jeb's expression as we take off, because uh, I want to know exactly how jets work and I want to give myself the best chance. So up in the air, landing gear goes away and it's so, it's so stable. So we can do corkscrew. Oh, we still got the wheel out the front. What's that wheel doing? I mean, first off, before we do anything, we're going to have a little go at something called a bridge challenge, purely because it's called a bridge challenge. Uh, so we've just got to turn around without crashing. Man, this thing is actually really quite bad at turning. I'm trying to turn left. It's taking days. <laughs> Let's turn the throttle down. Maybe that will help. And basically, if we fly this way, apparently there is a bridge that we can fly under. I think it's one of those land bridges that architects were obsessed with in the 70s. You know, like the internal ones. But still, we'll see what it looks like and whether we can fly under it despite our lack of control. Oh, so there it is behind me. It's down there. Okay, got it. Got it. Just by the balls. So it will spin her around up the throttle and then we're heading straight for the bridge. I mean, I oh god, I've just seen there's a huge building behind it. I don't know if I thought this through. All right, come on, Jeb. Come on, Jeb. Piloting skills. Piloting skills. The bridge challenge, everyone. Anyway, that's enough of that. That was sort of architecture-like behavior. Uh, we need to do some engineering now. We need to make this as wide as possible. Uh, now, if you remember, there is a way you can make wings bigger, literally just by dragging that. So that gives us a huge span already. Uh, but I imagine power and stability won't be as good. So we'll just try that and see what happens. I feel like the wings will probably fall off due to their weight. Oh, it wasn't too bad. It was stable, but we did lean backwards. I mean, and with a bit of power, we are actually, we're, we're upright. We're back on our wheels, Jeb. So this might actually take, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, it's a wee bit wobbly. I don't know why I went Scottish then. All right, let's put the landing gear away. That's probably not helping. So yeah, we're proper flapping all over the place. I assume that's because of our like control panel things. And maybe SAS, if I turn SAS off. Yeah, it's way more stable, way more stable. So I think SAS is actually my enemy for a change. Wait, actually, is, is that more stable? <laughs> Good Jeb's head banging all over the place. But yeah, to be honest, successful launch. Now this is an LPW250 flux. So if I go into wings and just see where that place is on the scale, it's actually an SM, a small mi mini wing. Yeah, and I want the LG, the lengthy and girthy ones. That's got to be what that stands for. So if I take these wings off and shove these on instead, oh man, they really are lengthy and girthy. Yeah, let me just turn on symmetry like that. There we go. So I assume with these ones, we can go even, oh yes, even longer. Okay, let's not be let's not be silly for now. Let's just do sort of fairly standard wings. Now you can see we lost our wheels because they were attached before. So if we just shove those down, poking out the bottom. All right, so here we go. You can see I've already introduced a bit of stuff that the game doesn't like. We're vibrating on the front wheel, but it's just it's just a nice back massage for Jeb, isn't it, Jeb? So presumably these wings weigh more, which means I probably need more power. But I have just stuck it on this because I just want to see if that is the case or whether we will still get the speed to take off. You know what? This is actually going really well considering, considering it just looks like a wing. It is going okay. Well, it was going okay. Now, those with a keen eye will notice my surface speed is going down. And if you look down here, there's no air. Because if we look underneath, our air intake came off. Um, so we're going to have to do an emergency landing. So wings back out. Let's try and get this thing over to the tarmac at least. Right, here we go. Here we go. And we land 
We break. Successful launch. Okay, so we're guessing that. We sort of, we know this engine at least. It needs air to survive. Uh, big thick wings doesn't actually, doesn't ruin anything. So let's keep going. All right, from this point though, I'm not using the stock anymore. I feel like I know how it works. I know how to improve. So we're going to go with this cockpit. Oh, and before I go too further, I found this button as well the other day. The color manager, which means we can have the red, white, and unfortunately not blue because i can only have two colors but that's good enough for the uk space agency so we got that at the front to cut through the air we've then got a biggish fuel tank maybe two because i think we're going to need some fuel and then we're going into the the waste piece that i like to call it um, and on the on the tops of the legs the thighs we're going to add two engines because uh, this is a lot bigger than we had before so we need twice the power i reckon yeah i think we'll add two of those that should give us a nice amount of thrust okay worth noting as well i've just pressed shift to give me more sort of details and it says the propellant is methane and it needs an air intake so i assume in our fuel tanks we don't want oxidizer or can i use oxidizer instead of air intake not sure i'm gonna lower the oxidizer though because that should lower the weight right and then we can add some cool air intakes i mean i can actually i can do inline ones i didn't realize that oh no these engines they have air intakes on them already i think i think we don't actually need air then okay well let's just add some wings add some tail fins Check my wheels are around the center of mass. Yeah, that looks good. Center of lift is directly in there as well. So I think we're actually pretty good, despite the wings looking very thick. Actually, there you go. We can make them narrower. Oh, that looks way better. It looked a bit dumb before. Right, now this is actually on the tarmac. I feel like any slight pull up, my engines are going to come off. I will just confirm that. Okay, no, I won't confirm that because I've just confirmed that I don't have an air intake. So we need to add those as well. One second. All right, so we're back. First thing you notice, I added the right length wheels. So that's all good. The second thing you'll notice is if we look from above, we are now representing the UK Space Agency. We have their colors thanks to these air intakes. Uh, and that will actually help us go. Look, down here, the air bars are full. All right, so let's fire up and then see how we get on. So surface speed of 100 meters a second. I feel like that's a good time to pull up. Yes, it is. We'll put those wheels away. Oh, and this is this is actually a plane. <laughs> it's working. The UK Space Agency. I'm so proud of you. All right, and we're just going to go straight up where the air is thin because that means we should be able to go faster, right? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What did I do? What did I do? <laughs> I did something bad. I did something bad. All right, okay. I've, I've recovered. I've recovered. Let's just spin around that direction yeah i just i just want to go back this way that's all i was doing that's all i was doing <laughs> Right, okay, this is good. This is a good concept. It means I can actually build a stable plane from scratch. Uh, and Jeb is very much in agreement. So we're going to go back, revert to the VAB, and then we're going to sort of tweak this a little bit. So if we grab the wings, I think what I want, rather than these huge wings like that, I feel like that's what made me unstable. I feel like if they weren't as long and they weren't as angled back and they were much longer, then the UK Space Agency would be much prouder of me. All I've got to do is check my... my center of mass with my center of lift. Okay, so I think this is actually this is going to be good. Can't launch vessel. It exceeds the size limits of the current VAB. Oh no! There's actually a limit. That is that is disappointing. I won't lie. Although actually, whilst I'm editing, I can launch. Okay, I think I've, I've beaten the system. I found a glitch. <laughs> <laughs> so I can launch any size plane I want. Oh, the trouble is wings a little bit low to the ground there. Anyway, we'll fire these up and we'll see how this goes. I feel like I might need a bit more like structural wing support. And I'm sort of thinking as well, maybe I should add engines along the wings rather than just having them at the back. That might make me more stable in the air. Although we'll see if that is actually a concern first. Let's try and launch up. Okay, no, whoa, we are straight up in the air. <laughs> Look at this. I feel like this is like my most, okay, maybe not. I was going to say my most stable craft today. But then I sort of... Oh, okay. Now, now it's a bird. Now it is literally flapping like a bird. It does actually, it is flying like a bird. Um, did Jeb die? Why did Jeb... Where's Jeb? What actually happened? I mean, I know my wings fell off, but what? Structural failure on the linkage between Hub 1000 and Ritter 800. All right, so back in here, we can see the Hooper 1000 are the wings and the Ritter 800 are the fuel tanks. Okay, okay. So basically, my wings fell off. Anyway, anyway, it's time for some, it's time for some improvement to this design. I feel like I can get rid of those now. And then what I probably want to do, I probably want wheels like there, then also some more like way at this end. And then I want to try adding undermounted engines to the wings because that's generally how planes work these days. 
because you don't really have jets at the back. Um, not unless it's a fighter jet. And this is definitely not a fighter jet. Now, there are already some Goliath jet engines, but I think, yeah, they're probably going to be a bit too big. Although maybe I can just upsize. Because my, my concern is if I go with really wide, stupid wings, then my body's going to be too small. So maybe I need maybe I need a bigger body. Yeah, okay, let's, let's just start again. So we're going for a shuttle cockpit because it's the biggest. Then going for that fuel tank up to an XL. So we end up with that. And we need lots of fuel here because we're going to have lots and lots of engines. So I might actually, I'm going to add another one, sod it. And then we've just got to get the tail back down into a tail fin so i'll just literally do the reverse of what i've just done why must this game taunt me i can never blooming put things where i want them to go just go on the end okay there we go so now we have <laughs> now we have the world's pointiest tail yeah, but i'm gonna shove a big old tail fin on there like that All right nice next up we need the wings so yeah we're going with the heavy wings we're gonna shove them somewhere in the middle and look at the stock like <laughs> <laughs> they look so stubby. So we actually need the additional span. Whoop. Uh, might actually leave these ones thick for now. Not entirely sure how that affects things, but we'll see what happens. You can see our center of mass is just behind our center of lift. Um, and I'm wondering if I change these wings, like the angle, does that actually change? Oh, it doesn't change... What? Are they just visual? Do they actually not change the physics? Oh, that's potentially very disappointing. So if I change my wing angle to that... Oh, no, it just changes afterwards. Oh, okay. I was going to say, come on. Come on, devs. That's not on. But okay, that's fine. So we'll go sort of 90 degree wings or 51 degree, apparently. And then I'm not going to worry too much about that because I think as I add engines, the weight's going to be slightly further forward than backwards because we are going to use these Goliath ones. And yeah, again, the propellant is just methane so i need to make sure on my fuel tanks i turn off everything i don't want i'm not gonna lie i absolutely hate the build camera in this game i don't know how am i meant to move it like i don't want to look at that part i want to look over there don't know but from down here we're going to add loads and loads of engines uh, then we'll remember we forgot to add wheels so i guess we probably want the xl ones right just purely from the weight and i wish i could go to the ends of the wings I mean, we might have to just shove that one at the front i mean i can probably move it from here yeah there we go move backwards there we go and we want that at the front i have been told as well if you if you do the settings of this front one and you turn off auto friction control i don't know what friction level we want maybe zero all right so that's that done the trouble is now you can see we've got the launch thing undone and i can't remember how i got around that last time oh yeah it was edit the wings the thing is this time it's not changing perhaps because my engines are so wide yes yeah, so if i take away that engine then that's as wide as the engines can go so if we shove a wheel there and then go into this then we can launch it nice okay <laughs> oh, I love that this is actually going to be the widest unless anyone else has figured out that glitch. Uh, oh dear though. Okay, we might need some more wheels at the front. Because apparently the one we have has just collapsed. I'll try and launch anyway. Oh no, I've just realized my fuel tanks. They've still got oxidizer in. Look, 25 tons in that piece alone. So we can lose so much weight, which is massively going to help us. So just turn down all the oxidizer. I'm going to swap this front wheel for a slightly bigger one. We'll go for the, the medium with that thing disabled. And, oh, I forgot. I, we don't have a nose cone. That's not aerodynamic dynamic in the slightest so we'll shove one of these nose cones on the front much better and then we're ready to launch so we've got some early bounce going on i'm gonna assume that's gonna settle though i might turn sas off because that will stop my wings trying to stabilize constantly and then we're just gonna we're gonna breathe this thing in and um, i've stupidly i forgot to name it so for now it's just called the fly safe 2 um oh oh I've just noticed the back is probably going to scrape on the ground, sod it. We'll see what happens. So I've just fired up all the engines. Frame rate now struggling, but we are moving. I just got to make sure we're staying straight. And I don't think I look very straight. So we'll try and go right a bit. So I'm a bit worried about hitting the lamps on the side of the runway. Oh no, I've gone, I've gone too far. The, the low frame rate is not helping. <laughs> <laughs> okay, surface speed. We are picking up speed. Nearly 100 meters a second. Well, yeah, we've just hit it now. So I might try pulling up in a sec. Still feel like we should be going faster, though, before we try that. Oh, no, one wing's taking off. Okay, the plane wants to take off. The right side of the plane <laughs> did take... Oh, I just realized I've got, no, I've got no tail fins. Don't we need tail fins? All right, so wings definitely taking off. Body, not so much. I don't know what's happened to that wheel. It's bouncing all over the place. Now there's explosions. Okay, so we've lost a lot of the plane. 
Okay, we've lost most of the plane. Jeb is still absolutely fine, though. So UK Space Agency, we're going to mark this down as a win, at least for now. Um, not sure where this is going to go, though. Hopefully in the soft, soft water. There we go. Oh, Jeb, isn't that better? Oh, he's breakdancing. He is breakdancing. He is loving life. Right, well, anyway, let's revert. And then I guess... Do we need more power? I feel like we need more power. Now, I feel like in this game, there is a very simple way to add power. And that is literally add more engines. Um, and I feel like I've come up with a name. So the biggest ever plane was called the Strato Launch Rock like that. So I'm going to slightly tweak that just so I'm not infringing on copyright or anything like that. So that's what we've gone for instead. And then we're just going to add my engines on top. So they want to be that orientation. So then we'll just add these all the way along. And then we should have doubled our power at least. This is what we've got. The spacing of the engines got a bit mad at the at the edge of the screen. Um, but we all seem to be holding. Everything looks pretty good. So I guess we just get ready to launch once again. So engines are a go. You can see here we've got 122 tons of fuel. So that could be somewhere where we decide to trim this. Oh my goodness, the frame rate. What have I done to the game? Yeah, so we're going at 30 meters a second. The trouble is we're getting about three frames a second. So we're moving 10 meters every frame. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to try and line this up so I can at least steer it a bit. Because, yeah, my left wheels, they're about to go off the runway. So I am trying to go right. Um, I think I definitely overestimated how much fuel we'd need, though. Because that bar is not going down at all. Granted, we're only, like, halfway along the runway. It just feels like we should have gone further. Because it's taken, like, five minutes to get along here. <laughs> Right, so speed is actually pretty good. 180 meters a second. I feel like this would have broken my land speed record. <laughs> I should have just used jet engines. Anyway, since we're veering in a big way, I'm going to try and lift off. We're going to pull back. And oh, we've just lost all of our tailpiece. Somehow we're still going. We're Well, I, it's because we've got all of our wheels still. So I guess that's good. We can't now turn left or right, though. So we're just at the mercy of wherever we're going. Uh, it doesn't look ideal up ahead. So pull up plane. Pull up 280 meters a second. If anything, we've broken the land speed record. Unfortunately, I was trying to take off. So we might have to go back to the drone board. I think I'm going to lower how much fuel we have. All right. So with center of mass turned on, I am going to... I'm just going to lower the fuel like massively. There's no point having 50 tons of fuel if I don't need it. Now, I also might think about making the, the tips of my wings a bit wider. Just in the hope it might add some lift to us. I mean, maybe the control surfaces could be bigger as well. Because that's just more lift, right? Okay. So way less fuel. Way more frames. Look at this. Let's turn SAS off because it's making my wings go mental that should settle everything down we actually have frame rate now okay i'm excited this could go well uh, so if i turn on the jets ah that's where the frame rate goes so turning on that many jets at once tanks it still we can watch how quickly the fuel goes down we got 26 tons of fuel we can actually see numbers going down i feel like we could definitely like we could lose loads more um oh big explosion big big explosion. There's huge flames behind it. I think we just lost our tailpiece. I probably need a wheel back there as well. Anyway, for now, we're still going. We're still picking up speed. Not sure how fast I want to get to before I try pulling up. What do you reckon, Jeb? Yeah, I thought you might say that. Okay, so 210 meters a second. Let's go with that. So we'll try pulling up. Okay, that just made a fuel tank explode. Look at the flame behind us. Beautiful. Yeah, so I'm not sure if it's a weight thing anymore because we only have like eight tons of fuel on us. I feel like it might be it might be a lift thing. We might need wider wings. As in, not wider. We've already got the widest wings we can get. As in, deeper. So way less fuel, please. Safety wheels at the back to prevent explosions. And then we're going to make this wing a lot, a lot wider. So here we have it. <laughs> we got some big wings now. So surely, surely this should work. Goodbye frame rate. It was nice knowing you. Fire the engines. Okay, we pick up speed. 100 meters a second. We're going fairly straight. Frame rate is not great though. I'll give you that. But if Jeb's little face is happy, then I am happy. Which makes Paddy happy. And that is all we really care about. We are drifting left in a big way. If I've recovered, we should be fine. If we haven't, we're going to have to pull up. Sod it. Let's pull up. Oh boy, that's a lot of lift. It's working. It's going into space. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Matt. Oh no. Oh no. Is the body too heavy? What's happened? <laughs> Look at the wheels. <laughs> right, SAS on. Okay, apparently we are flying. Oh no, apparently we're exploding. Oh, we got the frame rate back, sort of. Whoa, look at look at that wing flying. Whoa, so the wing does actually fly. It just wasn't attached to the body very well. Hmm, I wonder if I strut my 
stuff. Now, editor, when we make this sexy, pitch voice my voice so it goes lower so it's nice and sexy, like, oh, yeah. Not higher, like you keep doing in my last videos. Oh, yeah. Drop that wing, baby. That's it. Connect it just like that. That's how I like it. Oh, my voice is low and sexy for this. That is how you strut your stuff. So Jeb's on the side of this thing because he wants to have he wants to have a little look around. So let go of that, Jeb. There we go. Just land on the ground there. Nice. Don't get run over by the plane. Oh my goodness, it's huge. Why is it bouncing? All right, come on, Jeb, run. We gotta get we gotta get in front of this thing. We need a good thumbnail. Oh no, I don't think we can outrun it. I am sprinting. Come on, Jeb. <laughs> All right, well, sadly, that was that was a fail. Let's see what happens if Jeb gets run over by a wheel. I'll oh, just push them along. Okay, fair enough. Hey, we finally did it. I got out with the brakes on and it made the plane not rock forward. So that's good. Particularly with no HUD. Uh, anyway, let's launch this thing. Uh, I've also taken the top layer of engines off just so we have some blooming frame rate. I mean, it's not great, but it's a lot better than it was. So look at this thing go. It is beautiful. And I'm actually reasonably confident we're going to get this thing to fly this time. So let's pull up. And oh no, we lost the tail. We lost the tail. We we lost everything. Although technically, this is flying, right? All right, so we go again. This time with shorter control surfaces. I think they're a bit more realistic now. So hopefully, we should actually not explode when I lean backwards. And I might lean backwards like now, to be honest. So there we go. Oh, oh, we're up. We are up. We made a plane. The world's widest plane. We actually did it. Oh, man. I did not actually think I'd get this in the air. I tried to put the landing gear away. They just exploded. Uh, the ones at the end have gone, though. It just means we're not going to be able to land too easily. Uh, we are spinning as well. I mean, we sort of... I think we've made a bird more than anything. We're definitely flapping. Let's just try and level out a bit. All right, it's really, really pulling to the left. But to be fair, that is flying. That is flying. You cannot disagree with that, surely. But I do just want to note, can I go a little bit bigger? Let's revert to the VAB. Let's just reduce these wings to a point where the game's legit happy with it. Which I'm guessing is about there, right? Yeah. Okay, I can still launch that. So now if I shove wings on the end and then expand them... Can we get away with it? So I want a wing on there, essentially. Oh, stupid game. Yeah, not quite where I wanted it. I wanted it attached to that. Okay, so it says that's too long, but that's fine. Because can we... Yeah, so when it's there, we can actually launch it. So if I increase that wingspan, change the angle to suit a bit more. I think I'll turn the control surface off. Right, and then we'll launch that. So this should be even wider. <laughs> oh, yes. Look at that. Okay, we have really gone all out at the UK Space Agency for this. Um, so let's fire the engines. And then we'll see if we can get this beast into air. So I seem to remember last time we were flying at altitude, about 150 meters a second. So I can probably take off now. So let's do it. We'll be very, very gentle. But we <laughs> we've done it. Right, let's put the wheels away. Hopefully, they won't explode like they did last time. Oh, they're going a bit mental in the middle there. Are they good though? No, they've actually, they've gone away. They're behaving. Stability assist back on. We'll turn off the HUD and then we'll head to the end of the wings, which, oh, this thing is so white. Like, look at the runway below. And I'm pretty sure you can't actually go wider than this. So, UK Space Agency, you have well and truly done it. The widest spanned plane in the world. Jeb, you're a record holder, mate. How does it feel? Yeah, thought so. All right, let's take this thing up. Oh, no. What's happened to my wings? What's happened to my wings? <laughs> I think they're still attached. Yeah, they are still attached. Where are you going, wings? Oh, no. This plane's so big, it's broken reality. Well, there you go. Clickbait title was sorted. Cheers, KSB2. <laughs> All right, we'll keep going up because that seems to that seems to work well. Yes. <laughs> I'll tell you what as well. This design somehow, it's more stable than the last one. So once we just get above these clouds, it is so stable. How much fuel have we used? We've got 12 tons of fuel remaining. I think this might actually be the best plane I've ever made in this game. It does actually handle like abuse as well. I love it. Right, well, anyway, that's probably one of my proudest moments in this game. The UK Space Agency beating another world record. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Boost the like button. Comment below what other challenges I should do. But for now, I'll say peace, love, and legitimate records. Bye, guys.